In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide whole numbers by two-digit divisors using the standard algorithm, where there are zeros in the quotient. Remember to use the long division steps divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. We'll start by looking at the greatest place value in the dividend, which is the 9 in the thousands place, and we're going to divide it by the divisor, which is 23. 9 cannot divide by 23 because it's less than 23, so we're going to look at the 9 in the thousands place and the 4 in the hundreds place, and we're going to look at it as 94 hundreds. We're now going to divide 94 hundreds by 23. 94 can divide by 23 four times. We'll place this in the hundreds place in the quotient. Next, multiply that 4 by the divisor 23 to get 92 and place it under the 94 hundreds in the dividend. Next, subtract 94 minus 92 is 2. Then compare that answer to the divisor. 2 is less than 23. You want that answer to be less than the divisor. If it is, you have divided enough times and you can move on to the next step. Next, bring down the next digit in the dividend, which is the zero in the tens place. Then we'll start the division steps over from the beginning. Divide the 20 tens in the dividend by the 23 in our divisor. 20 cannot divide by 23, so 20 divides by 23 zero times. We're going to put that zero up in the tens digit of the quotient. Next, multiply the zero tens by the divisor, which is 23. Zero times 23 is zero. Put that under the 20 in the dividend and then subtract. 20 minus 0 is 20. Compare that answer to the divisor, 23. 20 is less than 23, so you can move on to the next step. Bring down the 7 in the 1's digit of the dividend, and then we'll start the division steps again from the beginning. We now have 207 1's to divide by 23. 207 divides by 23 9 times, so put the 9 up in the 1's digit of the quotient. Next, multiply 9 times 23, which is 207. Place it under the 207 in the dividend, then subtract. 207 minus 207 is equal to 0. Compare that answer 0 to the divisor 23. It should be less. And there are no more digits to bring down from the dividend, so the final answer is 409.